Hi, I'm Dan, and welcome to Airbrush Garage. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, thanks for coming back. Today, we're gonna to be checking out the 4040 Bleed Checker by Createx to show you how it will prevent bleed through on your Candy 2Os. Now, when I first started, I didn't realize that there was bleed through when you were dealing with candies. When I first got started, I heard people talking about Interco Clears. I didn't really know what they were talking about. And what they were doing is preventing bleed through when you're using Candy 2Os because candies are dyes, they're not paints. So what will happen is if you go to paint uh, paint over the dye, it will reactivate the dye and bleed through the paint. Basically, that's in its simplistic form. So we're going to be checking this out. We're going to go over to the computer. We're going to check out the data sheet on this 4040 bleed checker. And I'm going to touch upon some different types of clears, what the difference between a catalyst or catalyzed clear is and a non-catalyzed clear. So if that's something you're interested in, Stick around, consider subscribing, hit that bell so you can get future notifications. Thumbs up would be great. A couple comments, good or bad. Really helps out with the YouTube algorithm and help me build this channel so I keep bringing you guys good content. Don't forget to check out all my Amazon affiliate links down below for all the products I use in this video and all my other videos. And with that, let's get started. All right, so before we go over to the computer and check out the spec sheet on the 4040, I just want to touch upon some differences in clears. This is a catalyzed clear. I use this you know, in automotive applications. It has an activator, goes into your clear coat. So now with that, you hear a lot about you know 2K clears, basically two part clears, okay? It means two parts. You need an activator or hardener to go in with your clear. Now there could be other parts. Of course, you have your reducer, you may have a retarder. So there's other products that can go into these clears or to catalyze clears. But what you need to know is the 2K clear is a two part clear an activator or hardener into the clear what the activator or hardener does it goes into the clear and activates it to not only speed up the drying time but also make it durable and dry a lot harder than if the activator or hardener wasn't in it so the other thing is a lot of people mistake when you talk about 2k clears is they think that this is 2k it's not it's 2x it's, it's two times as much but it's not a 2k clear this is not a catalyzed clear and will not work as an inner coat clear with your candies. So with that, let's head on over to the computer and check out the spreadsheet on this 4040 bleed checker. All right, let's bring it up and check out the technical data sheet for the 4040 bleed checker. It's a water-based modified acrylic alphaphatic polyurethane resin. The description appears milky in solution, dries to a satin or clear finish. So the 4040 bleed checker in its simplest form is it's a clear. Right here under usage, clear. 4040 was designed as an inner coat for applications over Candy 2O to prevent dyes from leaching or bleeding into top coat colors. 4040 replaces the need to apply a catalyzed urethane clear over Candy 2O to lock down the dyes. 4040 is recommended for all Candy 2O applications when any color or non-catalyzed paint material is applied over Candy 2O. And you'll see that in a minute what we're going to be applying after we apply the bleed checker, and I'll show you how to apply that properly, we'll be applying our regular Wicked Colors over the candy that is coated with the 4040 and the candy without the 4040. 4040 works to prevent leaching with other types of dye-based colors, including solvent-based candy colors. 4040 is recommended for use as an inner coat clear with all Createx paints. It is durable and highly chemical resistant after curing suitable for exterior applications. All right, so I'm not gonna look at too much other stuff on this. I just really wanted to clear up for you exactly, and I wanted you to hear it right from Createx of what exactly the 4040 bleed checker is, just so I don't misinterpret anything. So, you know, along with this, it'll give you, you know, the, the additive, the application, cleaning, pot life storage, health safety, stuff like that. But the other uh, thing I did notice in here, I'm gonna be using a 0.5 brush to apply it and right here it says airbrush it's 0.5 or 30 psi i've already sprayed it with my 0.8 tip spray gun and my 1.0 and the psi is a little bit lower on that but we're going to be spraying it with the 0.5 today at 30 psi so with that let's head on over to the board and let's get our first coat on all right so your 4030 bleed checker has a little marble in here which anytime you got a marble in there it means shake it up i shake everything up you want to shake that up really well now, I've already shaken this. I've already put it into my airbrush. But I do want to say this product here does not get reduced. 
no reducer, no 4011 like you would with all your other paints. You know, I reduce all my paints uh, at least 10%, but when it comes to the bleed checker, no reducer straight out of the bottle. Very, very important. All right, as you can see, what I got here is I got a panel that I prepared actually a few days ago, so it's really, really well cured, and I painted it with the Candy 2.0 Blood Red, and we're obviously masked off here. We're not going to put any bleed checker here. Now, the important thing with this bleed checker is, is that you're going to put a medium coat on, and you're going to wait about 15 minutes. We're going to put a little air on it. I'll throw a fan on it. Let it dry for about 15 minutes. I'm going to hit it again and let it dry for another 15 minutes. So two coats with dry times between 10 and 15 minutes. And then we'll come back and we'll apply our paint. Go. just the medium coat you don't want to flood this on all right we're back it's about 15 minutes later and we're nice and dry now so i ran a fan on this for about the first five minutes i forgot to put a fan on it and i can notice you know it was very you know wet looking put the fan on it it just really accelerates the drying time so you know if you have a box fan or a little fan just run air get air going on this i will say this do not use a hair dryer or some kind of heat source to try to dry your your paint whether it's this or any paint, you want to run air over it. Airflow, you know, is the best for drying paint. So with that said, let's get the second coat on here. And we'll hit it with some air with the fan, and I'll see you back in about 15 minutes. All right, we're back. We've got our second coat on. We're nice and dry. we we'll take off our masking here. camera's picking up on that now though but you can see where this is shiny and this is a matte finish so i got some detail white loaded up here in my iwata hpc i'm gonna spray across it let it sit for a little bit and we'll see what happens All right, we're back. So after laying down the white, I went in the house for a little while, came back out, and here's our tape line. You can see where we had the bleed checker, the 4040 bleed checker. Our white stayed nice and you know crisp and white, and down below where we didn't have the bleed checker, it all turned pink. So it bled through, and that's what happens with you know a dye base or the candy because it's a dye it will bleed through your paint. So you have to seal it off with something and the 4040 bleed checker is a really good option because a catalyzed clear is you know very expensive so createx came out with this it's really not that expensive you know compared to your catalyzed clears and it just works really good as you can see just keep in mind in between coats you're going to have to use an inner coat clear hence the 4040 or a catalyzed clear to seal off the dye or the candy before you put paint back onto it. Okay, it'd be a good example, you know, I've seen, uh, and I use it too, in candies when I'm doing flames. You do your candy, you intercoat clear it, you come back, you put your white highlights on, you intercoat clear it, you put your candy on, you come back, because if you were to go and put your candies down over top of your white, it's not gonna look good either. So you gotta intercoat clear in between every layer. Sounds like a pain, but it's really worth the effort if that's, you know, the effect that you're looking to achieve. All right, there you have it. 4040 bleed checker, worth every penny. I feel because it's a lot less expensive than a catalyzed clear. 
if this is the type of work you want to do. I happen to love working with candies. I just think candies are just so cool. But, you know, you have, really do have to learn how to work with them correctly. And when I first started off, I was getting this and I didn't know why. And I heard all about Intercoat Clear. I didn't have any idea what they were talking about. So just keep in mind, it's really simple. And Intercoat Clear is a catalyzed clear coat that seals in the dyes so you can paint on top of them. Because dyes will reactivate when hit with paint and bleed through. So... Hope you got something from this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Hit that bell so you get future notifications. Thumbs up, a couple comments. You guys know the drill. Check out all them links down below, and we'll see you in the next video.